Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa. Welcome to episode 39 of our World Tour at Perceiver. Rapidly winding down though, we have probably two episodes to go. We do have two episodes to go with Perceiver. Now since last episode, where of course we won the league title, somewhat surprisingly, uh, with Perceiver slipping up and then took a commanding 3-0 lead in our Indonesian Cup semi-final first leg, we then played Borneo and this did not go to plan. Um... We, we rested quite a few players ahead of, of obviously, the second leg. Um, with the league title already won as well, it meant we could give some other players a chance. Um, and we were we were shockingly bad. Absolutely shockingly bad. You can see here, we were outplayed. We had more of the ball, but look at that. Two shots on target, and they both came really, really late. Um, you can see by the match ratings. It was just a poor performance. I was really disappointed, actually, given that we were giving some players a chance. Already have won the league. We really did fail. Uh, now, this episode, we're going to have our second leg. And then, of course, we've got the derby against the Bastards from Bali United. Um, that is... It's really all we have left to play for in the league, isn't it? To just try and dismolish... Dismolish? Demolish Bali and prevent them from uh, sneaking up into uh, into an Asian qualification place. Because we can see it's really, really tight behind us in the league, isn't there? Four points with two games to go, separating second and fifth. So... It's interesting if you're uh, if you're looking at sort of the the runners up positions in the league. But let's have a look at the team we're sending out to play in this second leg of the semi final. Now we're resting anybody that you can see here that has a bit of a knock that is on a yellow card and adds its case. We're not taking any risks because we've essentially qualified for the final. It would take a monumental stuff up to not uh, to not do it from here. So it's set to Jay and Goltz, Rendika, Chavez, Medina, and Sajali as a back four. Moses, Redian, and Lee Sun Min in midfield. Kayo and Ortiz they go down the wings, and Wei Yan, our wonder kid striker up top. We can see the way they're playing. It's the same as it did in the first leg. It's very defensive. Um, you know, we know what we're going to do. They're going to need to come at us too if they want to, um, you know, if they want to get through this tie. Because they need, well, they need at least three goals, assuming we don't score. So we're going to tell our team to go out there. It's a new game. Uh, make sure we win on the night. And uh, let's go out there and see what we can do here. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a dead rubber. But it is a good opportunity to sort of try and get, get a few goals, get some players in form. Um, I would love to see a clean sheet, if I'm honest, because, uh, well, even just some goals. Honestly, I don't think we had a highlight against Borneo. It was absolutely dire. It was horrible to watch. I had to sit through it. Thank God you didn't, guys, because it was bad. It was bad. It was really, really bad. Here's a corner. Ortiz knocks it in, back post, or more into the mix. Oh. Of it. Just can't quite get on to, uh, onto the end of it. And that is the end of that highlight. Um... So yeah, we're assuming that we uh, that we get through this tie here, we'll come back tomorrow. We'll wrap up our time with Perceva uh, with the Indonesian Cup final, a chance to do the League Cup double, which would, short of of uh, you know winning a Champions League or another Asian Confederation Cup, um, this is the best that we can do this season, unfortunately. So we'll wrap it up with that. We do need to think about who we're going to take with us to to China. As I've said before, I think Wei Yan here. He's, he, he's a kid that could be anything. If we have a look at these, these attributes. He's 18 years old. Um, is he playing at his potential? We won't really know uh, if he can improve. I think he probably could. But even so, with a finishing of 16, um, that is sort of... Not, well, what, there are some world-class strikers that have finishing of 16. So I think as, as a player that... We, I think we could probably tempt him away from the club. Um, I think he's going to be a good signing for us. And then we'll kind of see what we get when we get to Shenzhen. Um, no, I'm going to say I'm not happy with that because it really wasn't great. Now, given that Chavez is on a booking here, we're going to tell him to watch his step. I'm thinking, though, it might be worth taking him off here and just protecting him against a red card. Um, we'll give it five minutes. Hopefully he doesn't go and get himself sent off in the first five minutes. And then I think we might do that. The last thing that we need is... Chavez being sent off and then him missing the final. Uh, so we'll do that. That's fine. Bring Ali Ahmed on. We know he's he's good. He's been one of these guys that's sort of been on the bench pretty much every game we've played, I think. He's just a really, really consistent, reliable performer. We'll give it a demand more here because we're not playing particularly well. We haven't had a highlight as of yet. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think Ahmed's just been a, a good, solid player for us. Here's... Negru who way in across over Ahmed! Oh, he's off the bar. Was it offside? It might have been offside. It did look sort of sneakingly as if he may have uh, may have been offside there. Certainly in a lot of space if he wasn't offside. Um, yeah, bit of a bit of a snore fest this one, guys. <laughs> can only apologise. We're trying. Uh, let's go maybe more attacking here. See if we can we can nick a goal or two. Good header from Rendiko. He won it well. Wasn't the best header if we're being honest. Um, 
Yeah, so let me know, are you looking forward to China? I've got to say, I'm I'm sad to leave Paseba. I'm, I'm really, really disappointed that we don't get to have a chance with them again in the Asian Champions League. That's a decent ball in and a bit of a bad miss. Uh, I would love to have another crack at the Champions League with this team, but I just... The problem is that you know when you qu- your last playoff game is going to be against a Japanese team or a Chinese team, a South Korean team, and that is really, really tough. We put up a really good effort last time, didn't we? I think we lost 1-0 to our Japanese opponents. Um, it's just really, really difficult for a team that we don't have. We, we will never have the money of the teams in those leagues, and it's really difficult to um, to compete against that, as, as we showed. So it's disappointing in a way. I'm out! Ooh. He's, he's threatened, hasn't he? He's threatened. That should be the game, though. It's a bit of a snore fest. Nil-nil. <laughs> Not one for the classics. Instantly forgettable, I think, is the term. But we dominated that game. We just didn't create anything. Um, we'll say we were in the final. Congratulations. I mean, really, that's what we wanted, wasn't it? Maybe not the manner we wanted to get into the final, but look at this. We are playing Bali in the final. So this isn't going to be the last time we play Bali. We, it is basically a warm-up for the final. It's 21 grand in the bank. Um, it doesn't do too much for the club's finances. I'm really concerned about this transfer budget, I'm honest. I just... And the wage budget. <laughs> when we leave, this club could be driven into the ground. If the new manager tries to double the wages and spend 150 grand on player transfers it could be dire couldn't it but anyway guys wait right there we'll be back for the derby and a warm-up for the what is the going to be the indonesian cup final okay welcome back it is the derby we are up against bali and you can see here we have a decent record against them but let's not tempt fate um because they have a lot to play for and we not so much um uh, let's have a look at the team we're sending out this is essentially our strongest uh, 11 uh, this is the team I'm planning at this point and sending out in the final, and then we'll rest them all next weekend uh, in the final league fixture of the uh, of the game of the season. Sorry. So it's Seta Jair in goal, Yagalo, Chavez, Medina, and Adsit, Moses, Redian, and Septiem. We're going to put the dream duo back together. I just feel like Lee Sun Min has gone off the boil a little bit lately, not really contributing. So we're going to put Septiem after the last episode. He's three goals in an episode. He's more than worthy, I think. Kayo and Ortiz. They provide the wit for Wayan. Let's go and beat the bastards. Here we go. We really want to lay down a marker for the final, don't we? I mean, it's not. Very often you get sort of so close to a final, the opportunity to, uh, you know, I mean, see what we're facing, essentially. Uh, let's give the fans a performance with a bit of passion. Um, the good thing about this is that it does give me a chance to see exactly how they play. And if there's something that we're doing right or wrong, we can either improve upon it and, or correct it. But, uh, if, you know, we have faith here. We have a good team, as I, as I keep saying. Um, and this is this is the best team that we have be interesting to see, you know, set ready and set here because ready as well has been a little bit hot and cold. He's either played well, scored a goal, or he's gone missing a little bit. Um, so we'll just see how he goes here. He's a little bit tired, so we may not give him. We probably won't give him the full game. Um, we will probably look to bring w- uh, Wododo Ishmael on um, and give him a game in there. Let's see what we can do here. Ortiz over a free kick, gone out for Adsit. Can he get a ball into the box? We have our centre backs up there. We don't want to waste this. Goes into the mix of Moses. Ooh. Moses got a goal last episode, and he's got into that. He's just starting to pop up in some good areas from uh, attacking free kicks, isn't he? Let's give it a get creative here. We've got another corner coming in. Can we get one of our big defenders on the end of it? It's back post. It's Medina! There it is. 1-0. Finally, the episode has a goal. And let's face it, we wanted to make sure it was against Bali. There was only going to be one, didn't we? Um, sixth of the season for Medina. He is starting to prove himself. Uh, when he first came in, he wasn't really replacing Veneno, was he? He wasn't getting the goals from corners and set pieces, but he's stepped up as the season goes on, and that is a good header. Could the keeper have done better, perhaps? Is a little bit, maybe slow to move his feet, but not our concern, is it? Not our concern. All right, here we go. Can we go again? Septien looks wide. That's not the best pass he'll ever played. It was not really to near any of our players either. Um, but that's all right. We'll let him off with that one. What we don't want to do here is go and let them get back in this game. We're going to need Seth J here. Come on, Seth J. Oh, that's a good finish. Oh, poor defending. That bad pass from Septian, wasn't it? Put us on the back foot. And, yeah, just never recovered from that. Um, So, yeah, Septian not doing his chances of a spot in the final. Too much good there. We just got caught out. Is that Chavez, I think? Was that Medina? Chavez, yeah. Just let him get the wrong side. Uh, was that Batala? And, yeah, never really was able to recover. Let's show some passion here, boys. And now we've got to defend the corner as well. 
comes in away. Oh, it's pinballs, and we can't we can't clear it. We scored a goal, and we've absolutely gone to sleep here. That is infuriating, infuriating. Uh, at home and to in front of our own fans. Um, yeah, this is going to have to work on defending set pieces clearly. Oh, almost on the line. Who was that? Moses just couldn't quite get it clear. Um, we fired up. Can we hit straight back at them? This has been a bit of a goal fest, hasn't it? End to end stuff. Moses, he goes, look at the man here. Look, it's must be Septian. Look at you, Septian. Consisting down the right, which is fine if we can get the ball in the box and we can't. Um, so we're, we are definitely learning some lessons here, aren't we? Uh, we need to pass the ball to each other. Chavez, oh mate, you have got to. He's turning like the Queen Mary. Seta JS saves us on that occasion, but Chavez, we are we are defending deep too, which is this is the frustrating thing. We've got a lower defensive line. Um, I'm wondering if we need to we need to press. We do need to press them. Um, Chavez is worrying me a little bit though. He's just slow, so slow to turn, isn't he? He's getting done over the top, time after time. I wonder if we need to. I don't think pushing up is going to help with getting done over the top necessarily, but. You, yeah, something's not not quite clicking here for us. Is it... Let's show some passion. Is it just the fact that we've won the league and we don't really have anything to play for? Um, we can see Wayan is just not in this game. He hasn't had a touch. We'll go back to work the ball into the box because they were playing... They played with a really high line. So I thought maybe hit early crosses, we could maybe get in behind them. But that is clearly not working. Wayan has not had a touch. We're going to be aggressive at halftime and tell them to you know, pull their fingers out, basically, because... This has been poor. Uh, we, we haven't played that necessarily that badly overall. It's the manner of the goals we've conceded, isn't it? We've sort of completely fallen asleep from a corner and a bad pass and we've let them go over the top. I expect to see a much better performance in the second half. Um, do we take Redian off here, perhaps? Uh, who are we talking to? We're talking to Septian. Let's give him a little bit of passion that there's more to come. Um, so Moses and Redian are looking tied. So that we could do, uh, we could bring on Lee Sun Min and with Dodo Ishmael for them. So that's not a problem. Um, we might do that sooner rather than later, actually. Let's get creative. Come on, boys. Yeah, let's make these changes. They're looking tired, so they're if you know if you if you've ever played a game with yourself when you're just you're tired and you just can't be bothered can you you try you do it's not that you're not trying you just don't have it in you so we'll make these changes put Septian up more into midfield and see how this goes not convinced that Septian's doing enough though again Reddy M was poor wasn't he do we go with, let me know think in the comments, do we go with Wododo Ishmael, of course, our new Indonesian international? Do we start him in the final, perhaps? That might be something worth looking at. Go low back to Lee Sun Min, in for Ishmael. Back to Septian. Septian, that looks like a better board, that's a cracking pass. Out for Adsit, can he get a cross in? He can, is there anybody there? There isn't really. Lee Sun Min is going to get this though, can he put his foot through one? A little bit of time and space. Uses Yagalo though, that's probably the smart thing to do. Another ball in. Ishmael's there. Is that a penalty? It's there for Kalo! Kayo! Makes it 2 2. And this change, we've almost instantly looked better, haven't we? Um, so, do we go with a sort of flat 3 in midfield in the final? Perhaps that is the way to go. Do we drop Ready End? That just seems implausible, doesn't it? To even be contemplating. But we have been better in the, what, 10 minutes or so since he's been off the pitch. Oh, I don't think, I don't know if I can make myself do that. All right, here we go again. Maybe we could use him as a secret weapon off the bench. Maybe that's something we could consider. Here's Septian. This is nice. Can Ortiz pick a pass? He's out to Septian. Septian, is he going to shoot? He lays one in for Lee Sun Min. It's still there. Wododo Ishmael. Ishmael. Ishmael goes for Yoan. Oh, it's blocked. It's blocked. Are we going to get hit on the counter attack here? We should be first to that, and we are. Come on, Medina. What can we do? What can we do here? Look, this is just five minutes of madness, isn't it? Where we conceded both goals. Septien. 
of course, deep line playmaker now, which is not a bad role for him. It's a nice little ball for Wayan. Wayan! We've turned it around 3 2, and that is a really good finish. 15th of the season for Wayan as well. And you know what we might do? We might give them out a quick concentrate because it was after we scored that first goal last time, took the lead, that we absolutely clocked off. But this, look at this pass. Nice little ball in from Septien. But this ball here from Ishmael, that is just class. And goalkeeper probably should have done better there. But I'm wondering if this is our three in midfield for the final. Flat three. If they're playing a 4-4-2, it means we outnumber them in there as well. Um, we could always go with Red Yen instead of Lee Sun Min, of course. Oh, I don't know what to do. For, look, look, feedback, guys. Feedback. What should we do? I think the rest of the team is relatively settled, isn't it? It's just the midfield. Because we have really... Uh, what five good players, don't we? If you can consider Moses and Redian who have taken off, as well as the three on there, we have five really, really good options that we can play in there. And we only really need three. Um, yeah, it's difficult to say. Difficult to say. Now let's make sure we don't go and concede here, guys. We've done a really good job to get back in front, and that's not the best defending. Is he offside? He is not. Um. Hmm, that's disappointing, that's <clears throat> no way around that, that is definitely disappointing, I think that's his second goal of the game, isn't it, for, uh, what's that, Spazajevic, what can we do differently, they got men forward, is that Chavez again, or is that Medina, no, I think that's Chavez, isn't it, it's, no, it is Medina, now, was it offside? This is interesting, because I thought it was very, very close. No, when the ball's played, he's just on. It's a well-timed run. Um, come on, boys. Let's let's get creative here. We haven't had our best game. There is just no sugarcoating that whatsoever. Let's make a sub here. Let's bring Boaz on for Ortiz. Ortiz is looking tired. We'll play a uh, events playmaker out there, I think, for Boaz. And... Yeah, just a little bit disappointing. We Come on, boys, let's demand more here. Let's demand more. Let's push forward in these final seconds and see if we can. This is Okay, there's a minute and a half to go here, or two minutes and a half to go. Can we get something? A late, late winner. Come on, Septian. Ishmael. Ishmael for Kayo. He's got time to shoot there. Kayo, back post for Boaz. It's headed down. It's gonna, oh, We're not going to get down on the counter, are we? We're not. No, 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 no. I don't really have faith in our defenders right now, I'll be honest. We are not looking good defensively, and we're in, we're in some trouble here. We're in some serious, serious trouble. We need to win that header. We don't win that one. Yeah, so we're definitely at risk of getting done over the top. It's, that's the one thing I've learned from this game. Um, we are very vulnerable to a ball over the top, and that seems to be... Oh, what, what, late, late chance. I think that was Boaz. Um, we're very vulnerable to a ball over the top, aren't we? We might need to think about how we counter that. Part of me wonders, do we just, do we push right up and, uh, we're going to say we're not happy with that. Yeah, if we push right up and maybe force them to, yeah, we put pressure on the ball and they hit sort of more aimless balls forward rather than the, the way that they were, do we, do we need to look to sit our fullbacks a little bit more, not quite get as much forward? I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Certainly a lot to think about there. Um, but a 3-3 draw, well, it does hurt them a little bit in their quest for, for Asian football next year. Uh, it essentially will put them bottom of the pile, so they need a lot of results to go their way. So rest assured, guys, we have damaged them. Um, so that is that is a positive, isn't it? But guys, that's it for this episode. Like if you've enjoyed that. Uh, lots of goals, but no wins, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, of course, subscribe if you're new. We'll be back tomorrow for the Indonesian Cup Final. It'll be our final game in charge of Perceba, which is, it's it's a sad moment, isn't it? But hopefully we'll go out with a trophy and then we will be back on Friday to begin our adventure in China. But that's it for today, guys. I've been Ozzy Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.